This is Stratton. If you're interested in technology news in Africa and beyond, then this is the right channel for you to subscribe. So for a while now we've been talking about Omefe and in Africa for being the first humanoid robot but now there is another humanoid robot that was made in South Africa it was made by a person from Sierra Leone his name is Abdul Malik so Abdul Malik went to India to do some further studies and then he came back to South Africa and together him with uh, some of his friends they began what is called the African school of technology africa school of technology in south africa so with time he decided to come up with his own uh, humanoid robot hello sahabona do me lang fellow south africans i am the first humanoid robot built in south africa and i need your help people have been calling me the africa and he has been building it for a while now of course it, it is also still work in progress and um, he did do this interview on africa news and i want you to watch it before we continue in 2014 16 i was in india to study so which gave me the idea to come back to africa and build africa school of technology so you know what I had to go through this just to get this knowledge. Why can't I just create it in Africa for my people? So that's how Africa's School of Technology was created. And now, when people are advocating about 4IR and then, I said, you know, let me just build the robot. So I cannot just go to school and tell them robots is in the future, but these kids only see it on movies. And then I never knew I was building the first humanoid robot in Africa. I actually, to be honest with you, I was just building the robot. Africa's School of Technology was about to turn five years which was in June, July, on the 8th of July, I said, I'm going to do an event where I'm going to celebrate a five years milestone of being operational. And then this robot going to show what Africa's School of Technology is capable of doing. And at the event, Africa's, the robot was delivered in the welcome address to our audience. So when during that time, we got to know that um, we built the first robot in the continent. Hello, Sahabona. Do me lang fellow South Africans. I am the first humanoid robot built in South Africa and I need your help. People have been calling me the Africa School of Technology robot. I believe humans have names that people refer to them as and I would like one too. Can you please suggest a name that is fitting for the first African built humanoid? There are lots of prizes to be won. Visit our website at www.astechnology.co.ca and click on the banner to submit your entry. So if you do the comparison between uh, that robot and Omefe, they are very different. This one is uh, when it speaks, it only speaks English for now. I like Omefe, which can do several languages. And I think if the two partnered in terms of, uh, especially when it comes to languages, it will be a big game changer for this new robot from south africa in terms of advancement i'll say this one from south africa is way more advanced than omefe uh when it comes to the when it comes to the physical parts yeah you, from what you saw i mean this one looks more advanced it can walk it can stand on its own and it can do a number of things that omefe can't do at the moment which if the two collaborated they might be able to bring more improvement in the game and be able to bring maybe something that is uh, way way more advanced in a short time but so far i will say for the people there are some people who are saying that omefe looks more like a mannequin i think if they have a look at this one it will support their idea of omefe being a mannequin and this one being a real humanoid robot because like i said this one is way more advanced you can just try to have a look at the mechanism uh, how it is able to move the body man this one looks way more advanced more robot like unlike the other one the other one the only thing it was capable of doing was the voice thing this one is way more advanced 